Hello, and welcome back to Chill Plays. Let's talk about custom webcam shapes in OBS. Now, why would you want to do this? You don't have to have the default square uh, webcam overlay. You can do something like this uh, circle that I've done here in this gameplay. I took a step further and added a border around that too, just make it stand out a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do something like this. And why else would you not do that when you can do something like this? I think this is the exact reason why you want to do custom overlay shapes for your webcam because let's, let's be honest, I am pretty dreamy. Setting up these custom webcam shapes is a fairly straightforward process. Uh, I'm going to walk you through how I do it. Um, it's going to involve just a little bit of graphic design, but don't get too scared. Uh, it's a free program I'm going to show you. It's called GIMP. So we're going to need that first. So if you head to a web browser and you go to GIMP.org, this is a free open source image program, uh, similar to that of like Photoshop, but it doesn't cost anything. Download whatever version is available at the time, get that installed, and I already have it running here. It should look something similar to this. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, New, and the image we're going to create, uh, I like to leave these 1920 by 1080 because that's the canvas size I use in OBS. However, if you have a different canvas size, you can use whatever you want. I just like this because it scales uh, easy uh, for my purposes. So I'm going to hit OK. If you do not have a black background, if you go up here to the top left here, you're going to see the colors black and white. If you don't see black and white, you can click this uh, small button down here. It's going to set the foreground color to black and the background color to white. And you're going to take your paint bucket tool and you're just going to fill in a black background. Uh, these images are only two colors. So that way OBS can chroma out the correct color. So we want the background to be black and then whatever object you want cut out needs to be a white color. So I'm going to hit this button to flip these back because now I'm going to create my shape. And for this one, I'm just going to do maybe a cool little triangle. So I'm going to grab this freeform path tool and I'm just going to click a point up here. Uh, if you hold down control while you're doing this, it'll give you a straight line. Uh, and I'm just eyeballing this. There's no, no math involved. Well, that didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to. All right, so we're going to do this weird shape. Fine. That'll work. Uh, then I'm going to grab my paint bucket tool. Make sure that white is selected over here on the left. If you need to flip, flip these back and forth, that's fine until white is the foreground color. And I'm going to color that white. So now when I put this into OBS, uh, the black will be transparent and the white will be filled in with whatever I put this on or mask this over. In this case, it's going to be my webcam. So now you can go to file and export as uh, otherwise, this will only export as a, a GIMP file, which we don't want. So we're going to export as uh, I'm just going to throw this on the desktop and I'm going to call this webcam mask dot PNG. Uh, these can be JPEGs, TIFFs, uh, GIFs, whatever you want. Uh, I just like PNGs because they play nice with most things. So then I'm going to hit export. I'm going to leave all these defaults and hit export again. And then I'm done with GIMP for the time being. And you see that I have my black and white image here ready to be put into OBS. Let's close this. Let's start OBS. And if you don't have a scene here in OBS, you can hit the plus on the scene to add a new scene. I'm actually going to add one for my webcam and it's my Brio. Then I'm going to hit add video capture device. And I'm going to call this my Brio 4K just so I know what uh, source this actually is. And there's me uh, for the Brio. Uh, you have to set this up a little differently. Your webcam may be different. Uh, hopefully you know how to do all this already, but if not, you can kind of walk through this with me resolution. Uh, this is a 4k camera, although I'm not streaming or recording in 4k. I'm going to go ahead and choose the 4k output. I'm going to click okay. And you see my giant head down there. I'm going to right click on the source and then I'm going to go to transform and fit to screen. So now that's me in all my glory uh, and 4K smashed down to 1080 because it looks a little bit nicer, I guess. Rookie mistake number one. If you happen to want to put a mask on a webcam and you put the mask on the webcam itself, then anywhere you use this webcam source, 
it's going to have the mask on it. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So on my Brio 4K, if I right click and go to filters, under effect filters, hit the plus button, and we're going to use a image mask slash blend. Uh, you can name this if you want to. I just use the defaults here. I'm going to leave alpha mask on the color channel. Then we're going to browse to our picture that we just made. This is my webcam mask.png. And you see it already kind of filters everything out. That's because the color we have to mask here is the white. So anything that's white will be masked. Everything else will be transparent. And then we can hit close. The filter itself now is on the Brio 4K. It's not on the scene. It's on the camera itself. The mistake I was talking about is because I put the mask on the camera itself, that means if I go to another scene and I want to add a uh, video capture device and I add the existing 4K Brio, then you see here that it's masked out as well. And you may not want this because you may want to have a scene where you only want this mask to be on your gameplay or you want it on a certain scene. And then maybe you want a scene here that uses the same camera, but you don't want the mask on it. So we're gonna go back to the 4K. We're gonna go back to filters and we're gonna actually remove this from here. I'm gonna hit yes. So now if I go to another scene, it looks the same because it's the same source. But let's say in this scene on scene one, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this uh, camera here. So I'm going to remove this. Don't worry, I'm still here. Let's say I had gameplay going on in the background. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna add an image. I'm gonna call this the fake game. And then I'm just gonna choose an image that I have here. And click okay. And just pretend this is your uh, gameplay scene or your other sources that you want. So now on top of this, I want to add a scene. I'm not going to add the webcam. I'm actually going to add the scene itself on top of this. So I'm going to choose this existing scene, the Brio scene. So now I can minimize this. And let's say most people put their gameplay in one of the corners. Now, again, I don't want to add the filter onto the scene because the same thing is going to happen. So if I hit filters, add image mask blend, and I choose my mask again, you see that it it does what I want it to do, where it masked it out perfectly. But if I go back to my Brio scene, it's masked again. So I'm going to show you how to get around this. I'm going to go back to the scene one, back to my Brio source that I put in here. I'm going to go to filters, and I'm going to remove that image mask. So we're back to full screen. So a way around this is if you right click on your scene that is added into the scene. <laughs> that sounds fun. And I'm actually going to group these. And I'm going to call this the mask group. You can call this whatever you want. It's just a way to keep things organized and a way to add filters to things that you don't want applied globally to your OBS scenes. Now that this is grouped, I can go to the group, right click on the group and go to filters. The same thing we've done before, add image mask. Okay. And then I'm going to go to my image mask again. So this looks similar to the way that we did it before, but if I want to go back and say I wanted a full screen webcam, I can go back to my Brio scene and it's not masked out because it's on the group and not on the scene or on the webcam itself. So that's just a little trick to get around this. And there you have it. A custom webcam shape. Very easy. Uh, if you do want to put this further in the corner and you don't like having the bleed over there, if you click the alt button and hold down alt and grab these corners, it will actually resize the source for you. So that way you can kind of snap it in the corner if you want to. Uh, just a quick little tip, uh, but now everything's masked out. Uh, I can do whatever I want with this, put it wherever I need to. It's a way to kind of set your stream apart from just the normal uh, straight webcam squares that don't really fit well in gameplay. So just as an example, I can go back to filters. And if I want to choose a different one, I can. So I'm going to go back to where I have some webcam cut cutouts already made. And let's say I want to do my thought bubble that I did in my intro. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm masked out as a thought bubble. This one's a little bit larger. So I'm going to hold down the alt to undo that. And I can make this any size I want. 
I can make sure that Iron Man is thinking about me. Just like he normally is, as most people are. If you saw all of those cutouts that I had made before, uh, the cat, the fancy one, the thought bubble, I am going to put a link to these uh, Gmail folders in the description. So if you want to download these, there's also going to be a link for GIMP if you want to grab it from there. Uh, I, I made these. They're not perfect. They're not great. But if you want to use them, feel free to download them. Anyway, all that stuff is in the description below. Uh, a link to those images. You can also grab any black and white image you want or make your own. Uh, I just showed you quickly how to do that. Uh, just play around with it, have fun, make something unique and step your game up. So as you can see, this is not only is it free uh, using GIMP, uh, but also it's pretty fun. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities with this. Uh, just let your imagination run wild. So I hope you find a lot of use in these. I hope you find this very useful. Uh, it's just something to kind of stand out a little bit. Everyone has the, the simple square webcam overlay. So spice up your stream just a little bit. Stand out from the crowd. Anyway, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you have a video you want to see, let me know in the comments. I will try to get to everything I can. Stay safe. Have fun streaming. Love you all. Peace.